what's going on guys driving back to kansas as i'm on my way to las vegas to go to the nba summer league we're hearing from crispy haynes that the celtics clippers pelicans and timberwolves have reached out to the portland trailblazers to, portland trailblazers to discuss a damian lillard trade quote the clippers the trailblazers the timberwolves the pelicans the boston celtics are all teams that the trailblazers as i mentioned have contact have been contacted by as i somehow listed the trailblazers in there and i'm he says there's pretty sure there's more teams out there that have probably called out and reached out to discuss a lillard trade we know that miami is the preferred destination now 45 million dollars is what you need to match we're gonna go immediately just list off the obvious trades for each team car empty towns is what the timberwolves would offer as the package being built around that's obvious pelicans honestly i don't a hundred percent fully know what that package would be but your assumption would be zion williamson is the is the or brandon ingram right there unless because those are the two guys that would make it cj mccollum and Jonas valanciunas wouldn't be in there for the pelicans so it'd have to be zion or brandon ingram in my opinion that would have to be put in there the celtics they would be able to do this i mean they would have to convince and use draft picks to move malcolm brogdon but a combination of malcolm brogdon robert williams Derek white and al horford even any combination of those guys their salaries would match for a portland trailblazers but again these last two trade, you know, Zion Williams and Brandon Ingram would be something the Trailblazer would want. Carnthy Towns with like Jaden McDaniels or somebody would be something that the Trailblazers would want. But I don't think the Celtics package is enticing enough unless they gave up draft assets, but I, it's not enough. While the Clippers, they have the salaries to match it and they have the star power that Dame would want. But my whole thing is, I do not expect the Western Conference team to get Damian Lillard. They won't trade him in the conference. But the Clippers do have Marcus Morris, Norm. They can't trade Norman Powell unless it's one season. But Marcus Morris, Robert Covington, Nick Batum, Terrence Mann, BJ Boston, Jason Preston, as just a few names to mention as tradable salaries. Bones Highland as another one, and also young players that they can use. While we know the Miami Heat have Tyler Hero, Kyle Lowry, Duncan Robinson, and Nikola Jovic in three first round picks, as well as that we know the Nets and Spurs are teams willing to be in a three team trade. So when I look at this, again, Blazers have said that they're going to accommodate Lillard's request, and I think they're going to do because he's been a Blazer guy, probably send him to either the Nets or Heat. I think it's the Heat he's going to go to. But. I do not think it's a Western Conference team. The Clippers give them, you know, a, a good package of both expiring contracts and young guys. However you view Car the Towns, he's a good guy to get a return for Damian Lillard. Same thing with either Brandon Ingram or Zion Williamson. I don't think the Celtics package is enticing enough for the Trailblazers. The Heat, if they can get a third team to send young guys while also eating the big salaries, you know, the Nets can offer Cam Thomas, Nick Claxton, and Deron Sharp, uh, Derek Whitehead, just to name a few guys as players to take that could be traded to Portland and for them to take on Tyler Hero while the Spurs can take on Tyler Hero and whatever other salaries and offer like Malachi Bronin and Blake and Blake Wesley and Zach Collins, et cetera, that I think are better opportunities for the Blazers. So I want to hear your thoughts. Where do you think he'll go? Again, I think it is the Miami Heat.